All right, well this week we made a homemade version of the X-Men trailer and I'm gonna show you how we made it. Hi, I'm Professor Xavier. Not the craziest thing we've had you do. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so doing trailers is interesting because pretty much every single shot is a totally different setup and each one is completely unique. So we just kind of do them one at a time and set each one up, whatever needs to be done. So we had our friend Hari play the role of Mystique. So she's just wearing a blue shirt because in this shot we see it transforming from her neck to her face. So we just tied some strings to this turtleneck and then we just pulled the strings up so it kind of just rised up to her face. It's a good look for you, Hari. Thank you, I'm pretty sure this is the hottest I've ever been. For the role of Storm, we had Ben's girlfriend Bianca play this. She had the perfect hair for this. We just sprayed it gray. Here you go, a little bit <laughs> coming. Whoa, nice. Looks oh, good. And we set up some sheets of different colors in the background and then flashed some lights kind of coming in from the side, sort of for lightning. And then Ben's blowing some wind on her. Action. <laughs> <laughs> no, too much, too much. <laughs> There's a couple shots of Wolverine, and so we used my friend Daniel. Has anyone chat. ever told you that you kind of look like Hugh Jackman? No, but you, the first time I met you, said that. Ever since I met this guy, I thought he had a resemblance to Hugh Jackman, and nobody believed me. But we put this wig on him and the big sideburns, and he looks just like Wolverine. Yes. Yes, dude. <laughs> so good. <laughs> this is one of my favorite homemade characters ever. I've been dying to do oh. this since the day I met you. <laughs> so there's just a shot of him looking really intense in one of them. There's one where he's got the claws, so we made those out of cardboard, spray painted silver. He just kind of puts them between his knuckles and jumps up and stabs Ben. The other shot has more people in it. Alright, there's a shot where there's a blue light in the shape of an X in front of his face, and Ben found these little clear blue rulers at the 99 cent store. Uh, put a hinge in the middle with some wires, so as Ben's sitting there, he can just kind of move them and they kind of just make the shape. Ah, looking beastie. Ben also plays Beast in one shot. We're gonna attempt to shine a blue light on his face to make him blue, kind of like we did with Electro and Spider-Man. That's the only way we can think to make him all the way blue rather than painting his whole face and spray painting and stuff. <laughs> These teeth are terrible. Yeah. I play Magneto in the one shot where he catches the gun and we just shot that in reverse. Ben's actually pulling a fishing string, gonna yank the gun out of my hand and then we'll just play it in reverse so it looks like it flies into my hand. Two, three. There's one shot with Ellen Page and some other guy. So we actually had Bianca wear the Thor costume and a kind of dreadlock wig. And then Ben put on a lovely wig and played Ellen Page. We hung up a fishing string straight towards the lens and then tied one of those like scrubby shower things to it. So that way I'm shooting it and then I pull it right towards the lens and shine a flashlight on it so it lights up really light right past the lens. Oh man, that looks awesome. One other quick shot, I'm in the background wearing some weird outfit with shoulder pads, and then my wife Priscilla is in the foreground, and we got a pink frisbee and put some flashlights inside so it kind of lights up, and then she just kind of throws that right past the camera. And then while that's happening, Ben is sprinkling some fake snow in front of the lens. Old Xavier is not actually in this trailer, but you hear his voice. And of course, our friend Piat is the best impressionist around, so I had him do his best Patrick Stewart impression, which is awesome. Set faces to stun. All right, there's a bunch of miscellaneous miniature shots that we use toys and stuff for. The first one is the really long one. That's like the first time we just go into this future city. It looks like there's some destruction. Ben made this building for the foreground that has a hole. And then we just set up the whole dining room with lots of miscellaneous stuff. Some buildings, lots of little miscellaneous junk that we had. And then for the kind of purpley area, we just had a clear bag, put a bunch of lights underneath it. So it sort of lights up and makes that purple area. And then to shoot it, I just move the camera forward and Ben is holding that building. So that way when the camera lens gets through the hole, the whole building moves. One guy comes through a portal and slides down like an ice ramp and uh, for the portal we just uh, set up like on a black sheet a little bit of yarn that's in a circle and then at the right moment Ben kind of just pulls it into his hand so the whole thing just kind of closes and then the guy slides down this little cardboard thing that we made and we had the smoke machine blowing a lot of smoke there. There's a really cool shot where Magneto comes through a wall of smoke with a bunch of robot minions. And uh, so Ben painted five different robots, all silver, and we attached them to wires, and then had the little Magneto action figure that Ben made. 
and then Bianco is helping us shoot that too. So they've got all these wires with all these guys. It really took a long time to shoot because getting all the timing and the positioning just right was tricky. So we spent maybe about 45 minutes shooting this one shot and it shows up in the trailer for maybe one second. Whoa, yeah, that, that, one, that one was really good. There's another shot of Magneto where he's kind of floating in front of a stadium. So Ben made this whole stadium. Uh, it's a couple feet long and just drew all the little chairs and all the details on there. There's some cool stuff with this fire guy. Ben painted him orange and put some marker on him. So we put a match behind him so that off camera, Ben could be shooting the WD-40. So when it hits the match, it looks like it's coming right out of the guy's hands. He just blasts the other robot. <laughs> ah. right. At the end of the trailer, when Mystique jumps out of a window, we've got two different scales happening here. The first time we see it, we used a little army man that we painted blue. <laughs> And for those of you who are paying close attention, that is the clock tower from my Back to the Future scene that she comes out of. But then in the next shot, it's a little bit bigger, and we use the G.I. Joe painted blue with the orange hair, and then that kind of flies out of a fake building setup, and we've just got like the Eiffel Tower in the background and some buildings. Yeah, seems pretty cool. And then, as usual, I did all the sound effects and music just using my voice. It's very homemade. And that's how you make a homemade X-Men trailer. All right, how do you feel about your Wolverine experience? Not bad, not bad. Pretty we'll good? Go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I injured Ben a little bit on that. Oh, oh. <laughs> I'm the lamest puppet ever. It's an Australian boomerang gun. It's a new invention. And then it comes right back to you. <laughs> you got your flowers. Oh, you shouldn't have. Smells like bots. <laughs> it's an X-Men rave. <laughs> earring loss. <laughs> Harry has loss. earring loss. <laughs> you like this? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wait, child sizes knee pads. Nah. Ow. <laughs> oh, I'm bald. Why don't we go back into the past when I had a full set of hair? I'll do the video right now. X-Men, Days of Future Past. All right, well, thanks for watching. Let me know if you have any other questions in the comments and I'll answer back. And let us know what other trailers or scenes you want to see us try and do. And subscribe to Cinefix for brand new episodes every other Tuesday.